वेलकम टू माय व्यूज ऑन न्यूज अनदर वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली व्यूअर्स ऑन मैस्कल डे इट वाज ट्यूसडे एन एयर स्ट्राइक वाज कंडक्टेड ऑन अ टाउन ऑफ टगराए एदी दायरो वाज हिट वी शेयर्ड पिक्चर्स विद यू वीडियोस वर बीइंग सर्कुलेटेड एज वेल शोइंग सब्सटेंशियल डैमेज इन अ रेजिडेंशियल एरिया after that we saw a statement from tigray regional government which formally and directly uh, accused eritrea that it was eritrean air force which conducted a strike on adidaro we were waiting for some sort of statement from ethiopian or eritrean governments about the strike who conducted the strike and by the way when the strike was conducted several uh, account several viewers uh, they rejected the strike they said it was uh, a false flag operation so that is why a clarification was needed ethiopian government today issued a statement through its press news agency through its media about the strike who conducted the strike ethiopian air force or eritrean air force what was the target and secondly it was dadabat town on attack as a close to attack as a was hit today by ethiopian drones we have details for you firstly was at the dairo air strike which happened on maskel international media covered this uh, strike in detail because pictures videos were shared from the scene of the strike the residential area was clearly visible in that strike uh, houses uh, were seen destroyed civilians were being uh, uh, rescued from the rubble so that is why uh, Uh, it was clear that a strike was conducted though uh, some pro government activists said that it was a false flag operation uh, conducted by uh, staged by tigray government to falsely accuse ethiopian eritrean governments uh, and it was very clear that it was an a strike not a drone strike tigray issued a statement yesterday Tigray regional government in its statement said that it was Eritrean air force which conducted this strike i think six casualties are being claimed by Tigray regional government that six were killed and 19 were injured Eritrea as we have been seeing uh, Eritrea did not issue any statement Eritrean government remained silent but uh, government backed activists kept on denying the strike they said it was a false flag operation uh tdf was uh, tplf was uh, falsely accusing eritrea now ethiopian press news agency it uh, press agency today issued a statement uh, ethiopian state other state media electronic media also spoke about this strike Firstly, yes, a strike was conducted on Adidar. So a confirmation that it wasn't a false flag operation staged by Tigray fighters. Ethiopian government has acknowledged. Secondly, what was the target? Ethiopian government says in the statement that uh, Tigray forces are using civilian facilities. as storage points for their weapons and ammunition hospitals schools worship places are being uh, used by allegedly being used by tigray fighters secondly government claims that un facilities are being used to uh buildings uh, are falsely being painted with un logos as well the purpose is to hide tdf's military assets in adidaro ethiopian government says military equipment was the target 
Ethiopian government received intelligence there was a military equipment arsenal of Tigray forces in store in Idaro. And their uh, government claims that uh, it tried uh, to avoid civilian casualties and only those places were hit in residential area where there were TDF's weapons stored. This is now Ethiopian government's official position. No mention of Eritrean government in this statement. Ethiopian government is clearly saying that uh, the, the strike was conducted by Ethiopian Air Force. Secondly, the government says that uh, before uh, the start of this uh, third round of fighting and immediately after the start of this fighting, uh, Tigray uh, fighters received weapons from neighboring countries. And one plane uh, carrying uh, logistical supplies for Tigray fighters uh, which entered Ethiopian air airspace from a neighboring country was shot down by Ethiopian Air Force. Since then, Ethiopian airspace has been under the control of Ethiopian Air Force. Ethiopian Air Force, Ethiopian drones, they are flying uh, around Tigray to ensure that no aid reaches Tigray by air uh, from any neighboring country. So that is why no question of any other aircraft entering Ethiopian Air Force to conduct air strikes on the Dairo. So Ethiopian Air Force is rejecting Tigray's statement. Ethiopian government is rejecting Tigray's statement that Adidaro strike was conducted by Eritrean planes. Now, uh, Tigray, does Tigray have any evidence? I don't think that Tigray has any evidence to, to prove that it was Eritrean Air Force which conducted the air strikes on uh, Adidaro. No pictures, no videos. In yesterday's video, we discussed that uh, Ethiopian Air Force and Eritrean Air Force both have same types of bombers and, and uh, fighters. So it's difficult uh, to uh, say for sure which uh, plane uh, conducted its strikes on Adidaro. Even if you get samples of uh, munitions uh, from Adidaro, uh, from the debris of uh, the air strike. Uh, spot in Adidaro, you, you cannot identify the plane which was used for this. It can happen, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult. So that is why uh, now it's uh, Tigray's responsibility to prove. If Tigray said that it was Eritrean military, Eritrean Air Force, which was behind the attack on Adidaro, Tigray should now uh, share evidence. Uh, or it was a way of uh, uh, putting international pressure on Eritrea that Tigray used Eritrea's uh, name for this strike on Adi uh, Secondly, viewers, the Dadeba town of Tigray came under Don strikes today. Uh, again, Tigray says that civilians were hit, residential place was hit. Some pictures are being shared by some Tigray back news sources. Uh, Dadeba town is close to Takaze, a few kilometers away from Takaze. The town was the scene of uh, fighting for days. Uh, Ethiopian federal forces, Amhara regional forces, they tried to take control of Dadeba, but they could not. After days of fighting, ENDF and uh, Amhara forces, they had to retreat from Dada, but they could not advance from Dada, but towards Shiraro, Shiraro towards Shire as well. So, uh, this Don Strike on Dada, but is a confirmation that town is still under the control of Tigray forces and ENDF is not there. That is why a strikes, uh, Don Strikes were conducted on Dada, but uh, no statement from Ethiopian government about the targets in Dada, but, uh, but if there is a statement, government would say that uh, Tigray forces uh, military equipment was hit in their strike. Thank you for watching.